Hello, Hacienda La Puente. This is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas. And today we are going to talk about Jamboard, um, something that has been turned on in Google now, and we have access, um, and we can use it in many different ways. I wanted to show you a couple of ways in which we can use it. So first of all, the easiest um, way to get to Jamboard is if you are on a tab and you have access to the waffle up here, you want to click on it and notice that mine is already up here. So I have access there. If you don't see yours, it could be down here. And all you need to do is just grab it and put it on top. Okay, that was YouTube for me. So that's the one that I tried to move. But if Jamboard was down here somewhere, okay, you can just grab it and put it where you need it. Okay, so the easiest way again is just to click on the waffle and click on Jamboard. And it's going to open it for you. By default, it's going to show one that has been, has been created already. Uh, just kind of a sample. But the way you create a Jamboard is by going to the plus over here, new. Jam, so it's going. I'm going to click on it. It's going to take a little bit of time, and I created it already. So it's right here. The first thing you want to notice is that you want to change the name. So maybe I want to use this. Uh, I don't know for a uh, uh, for my Spanish class. And I'm just going to call it Spanish to Honors, just so I use it for that right now, just for naming purposes. Okay. And what I want to show you the first thing is on the left side right here. You have a lot of tools for your Jamboard. Okay. The first one is your pen. And when you click on the pen, uh, you have different, uh, you have a pen, you have a marker, you have a highlighter and you have a brush and you also have different colors. So I'm just gonna go with the pen and now I can kind of go ahead and write. Okay, I'm using my mouse to write, so it might be a little difficult, but with the uh, Lenovo's, it will be easy to use just your stylus. But I'm just kind of showing you what I can do here. So that was the pen really, really quick. Uh, I can go a little bit, um, with the other one, which is now our um, our marker. Okay, I can go with a highlighter. And then finally, I can go in with the brush. Okay, so those are um, the different types of um, items you can use. You also have an eraser right here. And if I click on it, I can go ahead and erase. Okay, little by little. But if I wanted to just clear the whole frame, I can just go over here on top and notice that I can go clear frame and it clears everything for you, okay? So that would be the easiest way instead of having to erase one little thing at a time, okay? Let me just add, add over here just something. So we have something written, um, 2x plus 4. Because it, just so I have something in here, okay? Um, you also have your select where you can select things um, in here and I'll show you we haven't added anything yet so I can't move things yet. But you have a sticky note, so I can add a sticky note, okay? Complete. So if I go ahead and save this, complete the question, notice that it's going to add it right there in yellow. I can change the color and I can say um, show steps. So now I've added a couple of sticky notes and they've gone in different colors, okay? So now that I um, have some stuff and then now I can use the mouse to move things around, okay? So that gives you an idea. You can also add an image if you wanted to. So if I click on add images, you might be familiar with this. You can um, upload if you wanted to select something from your device. Okay. You also, uh, let's see if I have something in my device. I might not uh, zoom um, image. So I'm going to put that in there just so you see it. So it's going to bring it in. So I'm just going to move it around. Um, in addition to having that, you can go to uh, Google image search. It's going to type math equation okay so there's something that i'm just going to bring it in okay let me move it to this to the bottom just so you can rotate it like you like you do with an image okay and i can also move it okay okay notice that you have some options over here okay you can duplicate and you can delete too okay um so also you can go to google drive and bring anything from your drive in here to bring uh, an image in and then finally, you can go to photos and also do that, okay? So you can bring, let me bring one of my pictures, why not? Okay, so we're gonna bring this one in. Okay, and now you'll notice that my, my uh, board is getting really, really packed with a lot of stuff in here, okay? But again, you could delete things. And then this is a great tool, because uh, if you're using this, I don't know, in Google Classroom, or if you're using it with the group, you actually have a laser that you can actually, when you're presenting, it will actually follow along. So notice that if I'm trying to show something like, what about this? You know, how did you do that? 
right? And what did you mean by that? That will do that too, okay? So that's how the main um, uses of the left um, items over here, okay? You also over here, you have a zoom button that you can zoom in if you wanted to, okay? And I can go back from, all the way from, um, from 525, zoom in and zoom out all the way to 200 in here. So I'm just gonna go back to just normal that I had before. Let me just go back to maybe 50, so too, too little, I think. So back to 100 over here, okay? And then uh, this is really, really important, the backgrounds. So notice that maybe uh, I am in a math class. It is uh, just clear by default, but maybe I wanna use these dots on it, or maybe I wanna have lines to write, you know, for maybe ELA. Or maybe I want to have something that is more helpful for math. I can switch it to that. And then um, there's other ones in here too. You also have some colors in here. Um, if you notice, just to kind of make it a little bit more um, easy on the eyes. But again, the ones for the math are really, really important that you can actually use. And now as you have this, you can actually go ahead and be able to type to write something in there. Okay. Something to remember is that when you change the background, it only affects that frame right there. Okay, so if I went to a new um, uh, frame or a, a new uh, sheet, if you want to call it that, then it will be uh, again clear and you can go ahead and add the background that you want and you have all of the tools available that you did before. So notice also that uh, just with any uh, Google um, app that we use, we have the option to share up here. So if I click on it, by default right now, uh, this is the link to share, right? And anyone in Hacienda La Puente can view. But if I wanted my students to be working on this, I could change that sharing privileges, right? To be able to, instead of just view, um, they can actually um, edit, okay? So we can work together. So something that I would recommend um, is that now that you've switched it, now you have the ability to maybe share it uh, through, um, email or maybe share it in Google Classroom, which we'll talk about in a second. So what I would do is I would just have all of my problems maybe ready on all of the different frames in here. And then so when the kids come in, we can work together on them. You also might have noticed that there's another, uh, there's other uh, options that you can use up on the top next to share. There's uh, another set of, um, of options under the hot dog button right here. So if I click on it, we have more options. So I can rename my uh, Jamboard. I can download it as a PDF. I can save um, one frame as an image. So just save in this particular frame right here. Maybe I want to share that. I can remove, I can make a copy to make this easier on me once I created the template of that Jamboard. Uh, and there's updates and also send feedback. So this is just a quick review of what Jamboard offers for us. Uh, if you have any questions, call any of your tech closers and we will be making another video on how you can integrate these Google Jamboards in Google Classroom. Have a great day.